Okay, um, we're going to check the configuration for the PLC and we're going to do that using a software. Since we are configuring a Mitsubishi device, we're going to use the software Mersoft GX Workstream. And when we open software, something like this will appear. If we are connected to the PLC via Ethernet cable, as we stated in a previous video, uh, what we have to do is to configure the network. We have to make some adjustments, so we're going to click network configuration and then we're going to Ethernet because we're using an Ethernet uh, adapter. So next we're going to click change adapter options. We're going to disable Wi-Fi if it is already disabled, leave it like that. If not, disable it. And then we're going to right click Ethernet and we're going to go to properties. Once here we're going to go to the part that says TCP dash IP version 4. We are going to click properties and we are going to add a network uh, address for the PC. Normally we have a uh, obtain IP address automatically so we are going to click use the following IP and we are going to uh, put these numbers okay and here the IP address for the PC is this one and remember that the last number must change uh, depending on what we have at the uh, PLC but uh, for example if the PLC is 25 like uh, in this case the last number of the PC must be different from those and if we choose initial values we might get errors because we are uh, like living in the same house as the PLC, as the camera, as the robot, as the HMI use uh, other numbers that are far away from the PLC like 200, 221, like 150, etc. And the subnet mask we're going to leave it like this and we're going to click accept. We click accept, close and we have the network configuration done. Once we have that, we're going to click online and we can make a backup for the PLC that I recommend and we're going to select the series, in this case it is this one our CPU we're going to click OK and this window will be open once here, we're going to click PLC module and we uh, can execute a connection test but if we are not uh, in the same address we can double click the PLC and we can select find remember that we have to be in RCPU connection via hub and here we have the two CPUs that we have one is this one, the CR800 for the robot that we have connected to the PLC and this is the CPU that we want to use, so we're going to select that and click OK. And here we'll have the IP for the PLC. Uh, remember the last number is different from, from the PC, this one, this one is 20. And we're going to do a connection test, Success, successfully connected with the CPU, OK? And we're going to click OK. And uh, the software will start reading the data from the PLC and we can make a backup. This is before we start making a project. This is only for making a backup. So we're going to select all and we're going to click execute. And the PLC and the PC are now communicating. We got all the information. We're going to close that. And at the project tree, we can check the modules. And here we have them, so it is not necessary to uh, input or to put some models. We already have them because we are making a backup. And we can check the program, for example, um, here. So we have to expand program, go to scan, go to main, expand it, program. And we are going to double click program body. And this is what we have programmed uh, in, in this moment, okay? So we can click save and 
see that I have a backup already, I recommend to save it like backup, the date, and version 2, for example, version 1, version 2, version 3, and that's all, you, you, you have your backup. Uh, so we can make a backup also for, if we have an HMI, we have to open GT Designer, and we can uh, click New, and we're going to click Next, Next. We're, we don't want this in this moment, this is just to open a, a program, we're going to change that, but what we want to achieve with this is that we get this read from the graphical operation terminal, the GOT, and we're going to select Ethernet. Since we have already uh, the network configured, we're going to input uh, the data for of the HMI, or the GOT in this case, because it's a Mitsubishi. And in this case, it's this one, 1.1 at the end. And we can test it see if we are uh, adding the same network and we can click OK and so we can read the GOT, read operation will be performed, we click yes and I will teach you where you can find the HMI uh, network at the or the GOT network address uh, physically in a moment. Would you like to save the project now? It's a new one, so it will close the, the last one and it will open a new one. And if you can see, here we have the GOT menu. So what is left to do is to save it and we can browse from documents and you can save it in somewhere where you want to save it. And you put the backup date version 2, so it can match backup as a name and the name of the company if you want and you click save and that's all, we have the backup for the PLC and the backup for the GOT so if you can follow me, I will show you where you can find the IP address for the GOT if you don't know so let's go to the HMI and if you click at this with a time, it will appear in this, this secret menu, and you can click IP address. So this is the address that we're using, and you can change if you need it. If all of your elements are in another IP address, in another domain, you can change it here. So we're not going to do that, but you, you have to write those and add them to the uh, steps that we saw at the program, okay? And that's all for the back of the program. See you in another video. Thank <laughs> you.